Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Sir Bit for Just in Time 1976. Um, I know it's been, wow, six months, eight months, who knows? It's been a long time since I posted a video, and um, I, I was kind of sorry about that. I started a new channel, and I really wanted to get back into it. I ended up moving and just kind of getting lazy, started like getting into other stuff, but. I decided to do another video here. Uh, maybe I can get back into it if you guys have any, you know, any suggestions or want me to review any kind of headsets or whatever. Um, but the reason I'm making this video today is uh, there's, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go over briefly my new setup as far as the headsets go, and and just some tips on uh, just improving your game overall while playing on Xbox Live. Um, so some things I I kind of ran into lately while playing uh, Modern Warfare 3 and it kind of just drove me crazy so just all, all the information I've gathered over the last like month uh, I'm gonna share with you guys today um, so going over the headset that I'm, I'm kind of using these days obviously you can see on my, on my neck here I'm using the Turtle Beach X12's wonderful headset nice big 50 millimeter uh, drivers in, in these things I'm not going to go over all this, you know, the, the specs and stuff with you guys. You guys probably already know um, these things have been out for a while. But what, what I will do is tell you how I have them hooked up. Um, now, if you look at some of my older uh, reviews on my Sir Biff channel, I reviewed a budget headset um, setup. Uh, and in there, I hooked a, like a, I think it was Skull Candy or something uh, headset up to a little... Uh, analog box. It was called the Sound Around box. Um, so it's cheap. It's like 50 bucks. Get yourself a decent headset that's surround sound. So what I ended up doing with this headset, I hooked it up to the DSS box. It sounded wonderful. I liked it. Really no complaints. You know, whatever. You know, it is it is what it is. It, I was happy with it. Um, and for me to say that, I think it means something. You know, how I am with headsets. Um, so I ended up hooking the DSS box up to the sound around box. I took the the output of the DSS box, hooked it into the input of the sound around box, and then the output to my headset. Now what that did was just open up the sound dramatically. Uh, it cleaned up the bass, it just made a really like it, it, it like broadened the, the sound stage. I mean it, it, it's like night and day. I mean, once you hook that up this way, this sounds phenomenal. I mean, I don't nothing 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 I've ever heard sounds this good with a, just a stereo headset. Um, I, I'm I'm in love. I love this headset hooked to both of those. Um, so I definitely recommend that X12s Turtle Beach DSS Dolby surround sound box with the surround the sound around um, box. I'll kind of show it to you here if you can see it. Um, it's that little silver box right there. The DSS box is on top of it. Um, so, yeah. That's what I've been rocking. I'll hook it up. You could probably hook any headset up to it, really. And it's going to sound wonderful. That being said, that's what I, that's what I use as far as sound goes. Um, now, I've always used my Samsung 55-inch LED you know, 3D C-series TV for my gaming. Um, and I've had people say, oh, what about lag time and input lag and all that crap? I'm like, I just spent three grand on a TV and that's, that doesn't, it's not going to affect me. Why would it? Total BS. Anybody that's, anybody that's serious about like online gaming and wondering why, hey, I just put up like a half a clip in a guy and on the kill cam, I didn't even fire a single shot. These are going to play some factors. These are going to help you out like immensely. Um, as far as sound, obviously, get yourself a good headset. Um, as far as is getting the signal to your your TV or monitor, um, what you want to do first: shorten your cables. Run your Xbox with a, a Cat5 cable. Don't even use the Wi-Fi if you you know the the Wi-Fi if you can if you can help it. Use a nice you know short Cat5 cable. Um, and as far as coaxial cables, use short ones, like a foot, two feet maybe at the most. Don't, you know, 
Don't use a bunch of splitters going to TVs and you know everything else. Those degrade your signal at interference and definitely do not loop your coaxial cable. Um, once you start looping that stuff, it, it acts like an antenna. It's going to trap all kinds of interference from you know your from your router, from your microwave, from your controllers, from just all kinds of just stuff. F, just you name it, it's getting trapped in there and it's going to interfere with your with your, your connection like a ton. Do that. Um, that's going to help a lot. I mean, I now I did all that. I have a consistent ping of like 15 milliseconds at all times. It was jumping from 15 to 500 sometimes. Um, so I fixed that, got myself a nice splitter, nice short coaxial cables. Everything is hooked up with wire. Nothing's wireless. Um, and not only is that my assist not hooked up wirelessly, the controller wired. Got myself a nice wire controller with a control freak knob on it. Love it. Um, that's definitely going to help. And last but definitely not least, get away from those big ass 55 inch monster TVs. I don't care how much money you spend on that thing. If you're serious about gaming, you need to get yourself a nice monitor. Get yourself a fast like two millisecond response time with like no input lag or very little input lag and and that's gonna help your game out I mean my game improved probably 10 times I was like breaking even or just getting positive two games uh, in Modern Warfare 3 like consistently no idea what's going on the sniper rifles just didn't work I put a half a clip into a guy Nothing's killing people. I'm just getting frustrated. Bought myself. I started with this Asus monitor, this 24 inch gaming monitor here, which is probably it's hard to see. It's okay, you know, two second, two millisecond response time is fine. I bought this today as a Samsung LED 1080p, two millisecond response time. This monitor here, don't let the size fool you. All you need is a 20, 23 inch, 24 inch monitor. Um, that's it. You know, you don't need anything bigger than that. Something sets fast. You hook that wired controller up to your system, everything wired, and it, and it's almost like playing a different game. I mean, I play a wire, wireless controller on my big TV if I'm playing, you know, just like Saints Row or something I don't really give a shit about. And you can just tell the difference. I mean, you start moving the, you know, the analog sticks around. It feels like you're kind of floating. You hook a wired control up to your system and play on a TV that's super fast, like this Samsung or this Asus or Asus. You're, it, it's it's immediate. You you move. It's precise. I mean, it is consistent. You don't turn around. You do a 360 no scope. I mean, every time it's it's the same exact way every time, and it's perfect. Um, so definitely try those things. Um, said get yourself a monitor, sit close to it. You know, I'm sitting right on top of this thing. You know, I'm I'm probably two feet from it. Plenty big enough. P awesome contrast. Things pop. Everything looks good. Um, and I'll tell you what. Like I said, I had a you know a 46 and 18 game or something just yesterday. Um, I'm, it, you know, my KD's definitely gone up. It's, you know, it's not great. It's, you know, it's probably, I don't even know what it is. Um, but it's definitely like two point something since I've, I've made all these adjustments to my system. Um, so for me, that's good. You know, I'm a run and gunner. I don't, I don't camp. I don't even sit still for a one second. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, try that. If you guys have any questions or comments or you want me to, you know, review things, let me know. I will do say one more quick thing. Um, I I tested out the Sennheiser X320s. I think um, it's a Xbox headset similar to the X12s here. Pass on them. Um, sound quality is good. The mic sucks. Um, just X12s for the money can't be beat. Don't even bother with the with the X320s. They do sound good. They sound better than these, but they 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 play about a fifth of the volume. How loud these play? These turtle beaches will blow your ears if you want them to. So um, yeah, it's a lot of information. Hopefully, you guys can use some of it. Uh, better game. Uh, like I said, 
you know, leave me some comments and some suggestions, and I'll hopefully I'll be doing more videos.